wall symbolizes strength. It symbolizes protection. In ancient times, the only real means of defense for a city was its walls. Creating walls around it created boundaries that kept you safe. It kept the people inside safe from getting out, but it also kept those who were outside from getting in. And I want to talk to somebody who's had situations where the enemy has gotten past your walls. All of us got walls. As human beings, we have natural protection uh, things within us that keep certain things from getting in. We might have trouble all around us, but we've got natural walls, emotional law walls and physical walls that we have put up to keep us from being traumatized from the onslaught of issues on the outside. But God help you when things get past your walls. Is there anybody in here who's ever had somebody get past your walls? Who's ever, had, who's ever been loved by the wrong person? Oh, my God. You had all your walls up, your defenses up. I'm never going to let this happen to me again. And somehow they got past your walls. Oh, my Lord. Is there anybody who's ever had issues get past your walls? Normally, I'm a very even-tempered person. I'm a really cool person. I don't let things get to me like that. But every once in a while, something get past my walls. And now I'm acting out and showing out and walking around at night and can't sleep at night because something has gotten past my walls. For some of you, the issue with you is that you that things have gotten past your walls. You didn't used to be like that. When you used to come to church years ago, you enjoy being in the service of the Lord. You couldn't wait to be in church. By the time they hit the drum, you was already on your feet dancing. But you let church issues and church problems and other things get past your walls. And when they got past your walls, when you were once a very committed person, a very serious person, a very sober person, so Somebody we could pretend on. All of a sudden you become flaky and inconsistent and we're not sure where you are. It's because things have gotten past your walls. And it's weird when I see people who are normally very dependable, very committed, very consistent, all of a sudden be distracted and be here and be there. You know why? Because something has gotten past their walls. It's gotten past their defenses. And once they've gotten past your defenses, it's starting to do things to your psyche and to your spirit and to your emotions until it starts to change your personality personality. Have you ever seen an Angela where their whole personality changed? I mean, went from day to night, from hot to cold. I've seen people, I thought, oh my God, is this Helen? Is this Mary? She didn't used to be like that. She wasn't crazy like that. She wasn't temperamental like that. She didn't lose her temper, her cool like that. But the problem is something has gotten past their walls. It's gotten past my defenses, my normal natural defenses. But here is Israel's problem. She didn't even have walls. The walls were burnt down, burnt up. That means when your walls or your defenses are burnt up and broken down, things can come in and out at will. And there are some people who are suffering the trauma of things coming in and out of your life at will. You can't even control it. You can't even control the interest. See, when you have walls, they had to have a gate. And you would allow certain things in and certain things out. But when you got no walls Animals could walk in, beasts could walk in, anybody, enemies could walk in. And the, the fear, the trauma of living with feeling unprotected, unprotected. The feeling of walking into this room with no armor on. And anybody could attack me or hurt me or dismember me at any moment. And some of you, quite honestly, as I look at you over these glasses, some of you are in such a state of mind that you are so open to everything that you're not even safe. You're not safe. Things just come in and come out. Your emotions just move in and out. Sometimes without warning, sometimes from one second to the next, you go from laughing one minute to crying the next minute because you got no walls. You go from being somebody who is very confident and sure to somebody who wants to run home scared because you got no walls. When you got no walls, enemies can walk in and out. You can go to sleep at night. Imagine your house with no walls. You wouldn't be able to rest, sleep at night, and be comfortable. When you lay your head down, you got to sleep with one eye open because I'm not sure if something's going to walk in here and attack me. And that's the way some of us are spiritually and emotionally. Things are coming in and out of your life at will, at odd times, at weird times, at the most inopportune times. I'm ready for this opportunity, but I've been acting so crazy, they had to take this opportunity back from me because my walls are down. When your walls are down, you are open to relationships that you know will hurt you. I've seen this before. I dated somebody just like you, 
But somehow I'm still going right back into the same sort of situation because I don't have any walls up. Now I got a string of relationships that all end the same way because I have not learned how to put up walls.